In this video, we'll learn how to use Luma Keys in Final Cut Pro. These are like magic when you need things to vanish, but don't want the whole color mess. Let's dive in. We've got a bunch of leaves and flowers, and we want to make them transparent, but using the usual chroma key might mess up their look against the white background. That's where the Luma Key comes in. Let's get started by selecting our background clip in the browser. Press X to pick the whole duration, then press W to pop it into our timeline. Next up, we'll position our playhead where we'd like to add our foreground clip. Now select the clip in the browser, press X again, and hit Q to connect it to the main storyline. Perfect. Time to bring in that Luma key. Just head over to the right and click on the button with two rectangles to go to the effects. Look for the Luma keyer effect in masks and keying. Drag that effect onto your clip. Look in the viewer and you'll see the default Luma key applied, but it's not quite right, right? Let's fix that. Navigate to the inspector at the top right. If it's hiding, click on the icon with three sliders, then the film strip icon for the video inspector. Normally the Luma keyer removes dark spots, but we want the white to disappear. Click on invert. Ah, much better, but the leaves and flowers aren't sitting perfectly. We'll make some position changes under transform. Looking good so far, right? Before we move ahead, why not spread some cheer? Hit that thumbs up button. It tells me if I'm doing a great job explaining and helps others find this video. Thanks a bunch. Let's take our Luma keying skills up a notch. Up top, we've got these Luma level controls to play with. They help tweak the light and dark parts of our subject. We can change how smooth the edges look by tweaking the Luma roll off control. Lower values make the edges softer. Now these different views are super helpful. Composite shows the final picture after everything's been put together. Matte displays a black and white version of our clip, showing what's going to stay and what's going to disappear. White means it's sticking around black see-through and gray's a bit transparent. And then there's original, showing the clip without any effects. Preserve RGB usually keeps colors unchanged, but sometimes it's not the best choice. We'll uncheck that box in this case. Need to dial down the keyed effect strength? Use the mix control to adjust the opacity. Nice job learning about Luma keys. Now, ready to level up even more with advanced chroma key controls in Final Cut Pro? Click here to explore those cool features.